everybody, this is Lemo from Town 600, and welcome back to another episode of Mario Kart Wii Custom Tracks. In the last episode, we took on the Golden Mushroom Cup, and in this episode, we're going to take on the Spring Mushroom Cup. Today's combination is chosen by Daily Dose of Sean. They want us to use Bowser Jr. in the Sneakster. With the combination name, first things first, I'm the realist. So, the Sneakster. Our speed is really good. The weight is pretty good. The acceleration, it could be better, but it's still alright. The handling... It's a little off, but we'll hopefully we'll make up for that. Our drift is really well good. And the off-road hopefully won't be driving off the road anyway. And the mini turbo's alright. So, let's take a look what this cup has to offer. We got DS Airship Fortress, Bowser Jr.'s Fort, so two stages where Bowser Jr. belongs, N64 Choco Mountain, and Summer Starville, which is nice because it's summer here, not everywhere else, but here it is. So, let's take a look what this track has to offer. So, nice background. That's the first thing I noticed. I like the clouds there. I like the view of the cannon showing us through there. And in general, this stage is a really good stage on my card DS, so we'll see how this plays. Lock two. In three, two, one, go! Starting off, we're doing a low trick here. Funky Kong in the Piranha Prowler. We got... Mario in a certain car. That fake block almost hit me, good sir. Do not hit me with that fake block. Funky Kong, we're gonna get a draft off you because you are a funky monkey. We're gonna slow down here because I don't think we could turn on this. We're gonna do a little trick like that. I see. Notice that they added a lot more fire here than the DS version, but that's alright. Mario Kart Wii has to have its own kind of stuff when doing these stages. So we're gonna get a nice drift here. If this was an inside drift, we would probably save more time by going in the inside, but it's all right, because the Sneakter is, seems to be a really fast vehicle. I find it it's kind of an equivalent to the Mac Bite in some sense. Not all of it, of course. But let's do a nice trick here. We got Baby Daisy on our ass. We will have this nice banana skid. F Funky Kong may want some bananas. So, I don't think we can do that drift. I think that's the only s spot in this race with this vehicle that we can't really do a turn properly. We gotta, like, slow down a bit and get our drift up going again. Going through the cannon here, we got plenty of bananas. No one's gonna get us. Not even the blooper is gonna affect us. The blooper, you can put your ink all over my face and all over my body. And not really. Don't actually do that. That's kind of disgusting. But you will not stop us all right final lap here bullet bills also knows that instead of the uh the rocky moles or the wrench moles we have these moles that come out of the ground but that's all right they can live in the boat they can live underground in the boat the boat may have some like dirt for them to like come out of and i tried guys i tried but with that Baby Daisy has now gone ahead of us, but she's hitting some fire. We're going to try to snipe her with this. It's not going to end up like that, though. Baby Daisy, you and the Quacker, you're not going to take my first place. In fact, I am going to take you my first place right now. You are not taking it. Baby Daisy, I'm warning you. This is my stage. Oh, you want to come ahead of me now, Baby Daisy? Here you go. <laughs> you really didn't deserve that, Daisy. I'm sorry. But... I had to win the race. Bowser Jr. is super happy about this. We're going to move on to the next course. We're going to see what it has to offer. It's a custom track, so we're going to see exactly what there is to see. Bowser Jr.'s Ford. Looking at this, it kind of looks a little complicated, but I can't judge it until I start racing on it, of course. We got some nice electric things on the ground. Koopa's been murdered here. Bowser Jr. murdered all the Koopas, even though you are Koopa. Back to in three, two, one, go! I know it's right in the start there. It dropped us. I guess because we're in space. I'm assuming with all these stars everywhere, not really high up the ground, we're in space. Those things are bouncy. I don't know if those are kind of deadly because normally the mushrooms are super deadly. I want to assume that we go up here. That's a nice touch. I really like that. It's a good use to use these things. 
Oh, we'll take in first place here. And we got hit by... I don't know what. Funky Kong taking first place. But I don't think so, Funky Kong. We're going to launch into this Rainbow Road Star kind of thing. And we're just going to fly off. So we'll come up here. I'm looking at the mini-map. There seems to be nothing here. So I guess we just drop? Oh, yeah. Just like that. And we fly right off. So, I really like this stage, though. It's a nice, decent stage. It seems to work out in our favor. And it's a pretty good custom track. I thought it was going to be much more difficult than what it appeared to be. And I don't want to hit that wall. I know I can make that turn. I know I can. I just got to turn a little earlier. Ah. You can throwing a red shell at me? I'm going to hit your red shell back with my red shell. Ooh, almost hit that electric thing in there that could have been bad that could have been really bad and daisy what are you doing are you stuck oh daisy you silly gotta love when cpus get stuck on stages but at the same time it's like daisy you're in last place but you can be part of the competition it seems to be that no one's stuck there anymore actually no i was looking at the wrong spot i was looking at where king boo was but no daisy seems to be still driving into a wall please daisy i know you've had Lots of tequila tonight, but come on. Getting hit by that fake block there was a nicely placed fake block indeed. Funky Kong taking first place yet again. Funky Kong, please. Do you understand that this is my race? And I'm going to win? Possibly? Okay, here comes that sharp turn. Oh, can we make it? Oh, we can. Arr! I gotta try that on a different angle. Funky Kong, get out of here. Your piranha parlor is so fat, though. Like, you're bumping me around everywhere. You're making me your bitch. Oh, oh my god. I keep thinking I'm going to hit that electric stuff, but it doesn't seem to be. Daisy, go home. You're drunk. You shouldn't be drinking and driving. Like, this is why you don't drink and drive. Because you start doing shit like that. I didn't want to take the chance of going around the things. Like, the going through it, because I'm pretty sure that's the way it goes, with the walls in the way. Definitely in the second one, but the first one, I don't know. But I'm... It's probably... You need those. You need them. Otherwise, you'll die. That was a little morbid way to say it, guys, but... It, truth's gotta be told. Final lap here. Hopefully, we can make around that turn. It's, it's something I really want to make around. So, I'm gonna concentrate on that. Here it comes... Yeah, here we go. There we go. That's the way you do it. Start earlier. Overshoot it. Just like that, we have one. And it seems that Waluigi and Baby Peach all got stuck down there. You guys... Did you take Daisy's alcohol? Did you guys drink some? I don't know. Let's move on to the next race. N64 Choco Mountain. Every time I race on these N64 stages on custom tracks, I realize that it brings it, me back to my first playthrough of Mario Kart 64. Not really my first playthrough on this channel, per se, but... Third time, but it's okay. Third time's the charm. Black two, three, two, one, go! Oh, I got blown the hell up. That was embarrassing, but it's alright. We'll stay in the back here, and we'll catch up with everybody here. Waluigi, it's a nice car that you're riding there, the Honey Koopa, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And, looks like there's like feathers or something there. Like, did birds try to come here, and then the mountain was like, Oh, no, no, you ain't eating my chocolate, and like, ate the birds? Turned into his own meal? I don't know. Baby Daisy, it's nice to see you again. You are riding the Quacker, it seems to be. And I'm going to get ahead of you. Are you trying to drift close to me? Now, I know for a fact I'm heavier than your thing. And what is this stuff? Like, is it wood? Is it, like, feathers? I'm going to assume it's bird feathers. It's probably not even that, but forget it, guys. We're going to assume it's that. Second lap here. Taking the lead here. Gonna get himself an item, see what we get. Wario seems to be coming close to us, and Funky Kong as well. Funky Kong, you stay away. It's good to see Dry Bones in here. Like, I swear, every time I see Dry Bones in these things, I'm going to point him out, guys. Like, I love him so much. 
Like, I definitely don't love him because of my display picture or anything, but, yeah. You guys would never figure out who I love in this game the most. I've already done this joke throughout this series. And yes, it's obviously Dry Bones. Pretty sure in Mario Kart Wii as well, I've done things where I've said, oh, it's Dry Bones. So, yeah. Not sure what those are. My people want to be careful where they step here. Might step on a bunch of bird feathers or step on a bunch of wood. Get a bunch of slithers, like how they make the parks nowadays. Like, the rocks are so dangerous. Why don't we give them slithers or wood chips so they can cut their feet open? The logic. Because, you know, I'm pretty sure from experience that rocks on a park are a lot better than wood chips. The rocks kind of hurt a little, but not so much if you were, like, to fall on wood chips. Like, if you're walking at a park and you trip over, like, a pine cone or something, alright? No one would trip over a pine cone, but let's, say, let's just say you tripped over a pine cone and your hands hit the rocks. It would not hurt. However, if there was wood chips and you tripped on a stick, like a tiny stick, no, forget it. You're gonna trip on a leaf. And you trip on a leaf and your hand hits the ground, like, your hand's gonna be cut right open by those things. So I say, bring back the rocks at the parks. Bring them back. But just like that, we have took in first place. Now the junior seems really happy. We are taking first place in all these races, and we're gonna see what the next stage is all about. Summer Starville. Let's take a look. After this loading screen, of course. And Summer Starville. We got some trees, we got some fountains, we got some ramps. Some Goombas, they're here to celebrate summer. And we got some nice houses. So let's see how this race plays. Hopefully we don't burn out this time. Lack two in three, two, one. Go! Hello, Pinatas! Are you here to celebrate summer as well? Of course you are. You guys live on Delfino Island. You guys would love that. I don't think I would want to go up there. Oh, well, hey! Why did not the preview to show me that there was cars here? Oh boy, my nightmare has come back to haunt me. Cars, what are you doing here? Scary cars, go away. Go away. Go away. <laughs> oh, guys, the cars just gives me nightmares. Don't play at our question. It looks like we have two paths we could take, but this one seems to be faster, but we'll probably take that first path anyway. Why did you put dirt road there. I almost turned to uh, Delfino's. Delfino's. Oh, Blue Shell. Shit. We got Blue Shell, but we got a, a, a shock. So, it's alright. We're not losing speed. Doing fine. Is this water? Oh, I thought that was like water. I was going to fall right in there. Like, can you imagine if they drove over it and it was water, but then when I drove over it, I got oh, slow down. Ah, oh, you stupid truck. Everyone hates you. Like, look, the CPUs even hate you. Everyone's getting hit by these damn things. Oof. Watch out, you stupid cars. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Those cars might make us, like, be the death of us. I'm not going to take that out of the route, actually. But this one has faster places to go. And I almost fall down a cliff. <laughs> okay, I should not have gone this way. Final lap. Pinatas, you stupid Pinatas! I'm not going that way this time. That's bad for the sneakers. It's very bad. Can you get a nice mushroom? No! Oh, you stupid car! I kind of just flew right up though. That was kind of funny. Oh, will Lomo 1000 start come in first place? Find out in the next episode, and then it takes me ten episodes to like charge my car so I can drive. Oh, that's not good. Oh, ooh. Oh, Wario, I'm so sorry for you. Like, I'm not even being sarcastic either. Like, did you see what happened to him? He got squished, tw like, he got run over twice, and then he got flattened. Like, that's bad. That's super bad. Okay, I'm... For actually, forget it. It's the last lap. It's faster to go this way. Yeah, it is quite faster to go that way, but it's just that turn. How's a junior... Why are you driving into a fence? Man, I don't think Daisy's the only one who had the te tequila in this episode. But just like that, we're going to go to the award ceremony. 
see the results of what everybody got. Nice houses. Bowser Jr., Wario, and Funky Kong. We're all driving. Pinatos are clapping for us. All the Goombas and the Toads. Funky Kong being all pimp with the shades. Everybody celebrates. And Wario just fist pumps. He's out of rave. He's ready to rave, guys. He's ready to do like 360s on his fat. Everyone's cheering for us. Got first place, we got a nice golden trophy. Our rank was A. A for effort. Or <laughs> A for effort. No, that's E. But it seems that Waluigi got only 5 points. And Dry Bones got 14. And Baby Daisy, we thought you were going to be our rival, but you weren't. But anyway, guys, that's going to sum up today's episode. Until next time, this has been Lone Fontana 600, and I'll see you in the next episode. See you then. Bye.